Speaking about education and student life uh, during this pandemic, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is forcing people to mostly stay at home, including students. Right, and the prolonged stay at home might cause stress among children. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia has resulted in disruption of human activities with most people forced to stay at home due to social restrictions. As a result, most daily activities such as schools and work must now be done from home. And home learning has been going on for almost a year. Some children have accustomed themselves to it, but some also express hopes of returning to school soon. Pembelajaran itu masih sama seperti di sekolah. Menurut saya, semua pembelajaran dan materi pembelajaran disampaikan secara virtual, tanpa bertatap muka secara langsung, dan terutama untuk masa perkenalan uh, sekolah, Bapak Ibu Guru dan teman-teman, uh, saya hanya bisa berpapasan uh, dengan mereka melalui virtual. Saya rindu sama teman-teman saya, karena saya biasanya bermain bersama teman-teman saya. Ya, seperti di rumah ini saya hanya bermain biasa saja Tunggu di luar bermain sepeda Saya memiliki perasaan pengen ketemu mereka belajar dan bermain bersama dan... Saya berharap kalau pandemi ini segera berakhir Jadi saya bisa bermain bersama teman-teman saya Dan bisa bertemu dengan bapak ibu guru Ya semoga saja pandemi bisa cepat usai Dan kita bisa belajar bermain bersama lagi di sekolah Dan benar-benar bisa menuntut ilmu secara baik Experts warn that prolonged stay at home with little time to adapt and poor time management as well as lack of supervision might cause depression and stress among children. Karena tidak ada pengawasan ya kan dan memang Uh, mungkin guru melihatnya untuk uh, apakah tugasnya sudah disubmit atau belum. Nah di sini banyak yang keteter, bahkan banyak anak juga stres karena mereka merasa tidak mampu untuk mengelola waktu dengan baik. Jadi tidak mudah pertama bagi anak untuk mengelola waktu dengan efektif dan bahkan ketika mereka tidak bisa uh, membagi waktu antara belajar dan bermain, akhirnya mereka akan menumpuk uh, tugas di uh, akhir ya dan akhirnya men bisa menimbulkan stres atau depresi. Here are some tips for parents to protect their children's mental well-being during the pandemic. First, parents must understand the current condition and act wisely. Second, don't push your child to do so many tasks and allow them time to rest and relax. Third, make a fun environment for your child to study so they can enjoy and feel fun and keep them company. Make a target together and discuss the right method that suits them. Let your child do their hobby and don't forget to remind them to interact with their friends. The COVID-19 pandemic is still ongoing with growing number of cases each day. So make sure you always use your mask, maintain your distance, and wash your hands. Nugrahanto Margo, Reza Anitita for C Today.